Now look who's here, Cheryl Cassani, and we want to stay. We want to stay on immigration. Uh, yeah. President Obama was the biggest deporting president in history, wasn't he? He was called the deporter in chief. Barack mm. Obama deported more illegal immigrants from this country during his presidency, actually up to 2015. We don't have the 16 numbers yet. Government data that you're looking at shows you that he deported more immigrants out of this country than all of the presidents of this country in the 20th century combined. Now, and believe it or not. The New York Times has these numbers as well. In case anybody wants to start disputing me, I'm quoting the New York Times on this one. Now, when, when, uh, when, we're, when Republicans used to bring this up, though, what, what progressives said is there, there are two types of, of, of deportations. Mm -hmm. There's returns and removals. Right. Now, when it comes to removals, like someone who may have been here for 20 years, he went, he was, he went down. He was turning them away. He was returning them at the border. In other words, fiscal year 2008, it was 369. Fiscal year 2016, 240,000. That's what, that's what, that was their reply to progressives the, who no, were bringing yeah, this up. I know what you're saying. That sharp in the deportation decline down 43 percent from 2000, from 2012 to 2015, that there was a decline in that number. That is correct. But at the same time, what Republicans are saying, it wasn't just the fact that he was going after deportations. Most of the people that he actually sent out of this country were petty criminals. You know, the reason I'm bringing this up is, is Donald Trump is getting so attacked for what we're seeing today and what you're seeing in California in the protests, but Barack Obama's the one that was targeting, in some cases, mothers and fathers and, you know, caregivers. I'm sorry, right. but so, you know, I think that Donald Trump is taking a lot of unfair blame on this issue right now when it comes to the issue of illegal immigrants well, in this country. And I'm sorry, but David. the ICE guys are thrilled about I'm gonna this I'm going to bring right all now. the guys in, and I'll ask you first, David. Um, mm. If you're watching a, a mainstream media and there's someone, they say this woman has been here for 20 years, she never committed a crime. Uh, is she, she's, she did, not the, she's not the, I mean, the, huh? She did, but okay. Well, well I mean, no, just, say, just say a hypothetical, <laughs> okay. any, any yeah. person. Not, not Guadalupe, but any person, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Is that the bad armory that you want as your poster person? Is that the person keeping you up at night, David? Look, either you have laws and you have enforcement or you do not. The, the scales are balanced on what exists in law. She committed a crime, civil and maybe others coming here. You have a state representative in California openly admits that half of his family or some number of his family are committing crimes. They're actually committing felony with identity theft. They're committing felony fraud in some cases. And the dumb Republicans, and I'll call them that in California, stand up and I watch a legislator on this channel actually not be able to talk about the law. The system is broken. You enforce the law. I'm sorry, there's no time for sympathy. If you've committed crimes, you need to go, including minor crimes. We can't have well, that in our society. the first crime was being here illegally. Well, anyone yeah. who's here illegally right. is Ill illegally. Yeah, so you right. committed a crime oh, and you came really, to the country. And faking are you really documents. Gonna deport, wait, are Fake. you really going to deport geez. millions of people? That's going to be a shock to the well, system. Well, oh. I, I, I guess that's what I'm saying, uh, Cheryl, is that... The, Right now, I think, listen, no one, the drug cartels, the gangs, you know, the, the guys who... Criminals. Right. Real hardcore criminals. Do you sway, do you, do, you, do you help progressives when the ones that, we're not seeing them, it's early on, but... We want to see those guys do the perp walk. We but, want to see those but guys. But the liberal arrested. media is going to pick up on the Guadalupe's of this world, which certainly is. And she's back, by the way, with her, fa or with her How kids did she get back so last quick? night. I mean, they I met, they met at the border. No, they met at the border last night. There's not no back, wall. but they saw oh, them while there's no, no wall. Yeah, you know, there's... She, she saw her kids last night. But my point is, is that, you know, the liberal media is going to pick up on the, on the sad stories. There's going to be, th this is going to happen, okay? You, they better move it's with passion. Happen, but with compassion. The, but if they you, better move with compassion. But if you go to a state like Arizona, which I spend a lot of my lifetime in, I'll Tell you what, you know what, what I grew up in? Drunk driving, gun violence, um, you name it, uh, child trafficking, rape, all of that. Uh, the, in, the, the good people in Arizona were so right. frustrated because you, you, there's good Mexican Americans and there's bad. And ironically, though, yeah, you've exactly. got a series of cities that want to become sanctuary states yes, right now. Phoenix wants to become a sanctuary encouraging city. Encouraging this, uh, this So behavior. what do you make of that? Look, you're either lawfully present in the United Correct. States or you're not. That right. is fact. By the way, one of the big problems we have with the illegal crimin the criminal illegals, mm. their countries don't take them back. Right. So now the taxpayer is paying to keep criminals that shouldn't be in this country in jail. And how That's many, right, guys, we got how many are deported and then come straight back? That's a well, huge I mean, a sanctuary problem. city rolls out Kate the red carpet. Kate Stiley, right? dead yes. nuns. How we many have to go to yelling at me. <laughs> David Webb, last word to you on some of these uh, issues. Uh, it's complicated. I, I mean, I know it's easy to talk about a cut and dry, but when you get down to the granular life level, you know, I was talking to Cheryl. 
If you go to a beauty salon in New York City and these women do their nails, there may be some woman who's doing your nails for 20 years and came here illegally. What do you do with that? Well, look, you can work on a path to lawful presence. I want people to remember that term, just like it's not a set of citizenship. Right. Lawful presence. Are you lawfully present in the United States? There is a way to work that through. The problem is we keep saying that it's not a crime to come here illegally because it's a civil civil crime to cross or overstay a visa. The fact is the minute you buy an ID, the minute you right. purchase somebody's social security card, the minute you go through those forms of identity fraud, you've gone to the level of felony most likely. Mm. So this is, not, this is not a victimless crime situation. And at some point we have to draw the line. Look, I'm all for compassion. I believe it's part of the picture, but we have to be realistic. We cannot become a nation without laws. And real quick, the decision by the Ninth Circuit last night, um, a lot of legal scholars believe ultimately that the president will be vindicated. But by the same token, we've got some new presidents that have been established by uh, that may come into play in the future. Well, look, they're going to lose in the long run. Whether he writes a new order, goes back to the circuit court, I don't believe the tactic should be to go to the Supreme Court. However, what they've done is they've inserted themselves into policy, and that is not the role of the judiciary. Right. Thank you very much, David Webb. Appreciate it.